All right, hello everybody, John Meadows here, and we're getting ready to smash some legs, so stay tuned and make sure you try this yourself. Hello everybody, John Meadows here. We're getting ready to smash some legs and I have my two training partners with me. My wife, who you all know, Mary, and special delivery from Iowa, preparing for the Miss Olympia, Ivana Ivusik. So stay tuned. So we're starting off with leg curls today, lying leg curls. Probably three or four warm-up sets. We like to take our time on these to get a lot of blood in our hamstrings. And then we're gonna do sets of 10, uh, probably three sets of 10. And on our last set, after we do the 10, we're going to get a little crazy. We're going to drop the weight a couple times. We're going to throw in an ISO hold. So the last set is going to be really, really tough, really difficult. The goal being to just get a massive amount of blood in your hamstrings. All right. Big set here. Two. Come on. Four. Keep going. One more. Okay, drop it down to six. All right, keep going. Two, three, four, five. Come on. Six, two more. Come on, two more. One more. Okay, drop it down to four. Okay, we're super strict. Super strict. Keep your hips down. Super strict. There you go. There you go. Three, four, five, six, two more, seven. Okay, now bring them up halfway. Halfway. Go down. I just hit my hand. Lower, lower, stretch. Right there, right there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine. And now hold it right here, hold it. Don't let me push you down, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Don't let me push you down. 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. All right. You good? All right, now you got a lot of blood in your hamstrings and you will be amazed at how good the leg presses feel with your hamstrings full of blood. So we're just going to do a simple pyramid, sets of eight, up until a really tough eight. And then once we get to a weight that we can barely do for eight, we're going to do like we did in the leg curl, and we're going to make it a really hard set. So we're probably going to incorporate a drop set for our last set. So here we go. Okay, so foot placement. I like to do mine a little lower. That's just because I have a lot of muscle around my knee. A lot of people, I recommend they don't do a low stance until maybe with a lighter weight and later on in the workout until your knees are getting warmed up. You can also hit your quad sweep, the side of your thighs, with your feet low and your toes out like such. Now, if you, wanna, if you do wanna work your teardrop, the muscles by your knee here, vastus medialis, move your toes in like this, and pump them like this. And again, so quad sweep here, let your knees travel outside your body. Really feel this. Okay, if you want this, turn them in. Now, if you want a lot of hamstring and glute, then you can get up here. And this will hit a lot of hamstring and glute. Knees traveling outside your body. That's the basic, the basic three ways to do leg press. do a drop set here. I don't know how many reps I'm going to do. Let's just see how tough she is. All right, let's see what she's got. I want six with this one. Let's go eight. Six. 
six, two more. Seven, one more. Okay, don't wrap it. Eight more. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't you don't you dare stop. Come on. Seven. 18. 19. Five more and you're done. Five more. Pump them out. One, two, three, four. One more. Okay, don't move, don't wrap. Bend your knees a little. Bend your knees. More. Now just hold it there. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, now you're done. <laughs> two again. Okay, my favorite hack squat technique. These are called one and a halves. So she's gonna go down all the way. She's gonna come up halfway, then go back down, and then come up, that's one rep. See that? The machine's bottoming, bottoming out. She's going as low as she can go. So all the way down, halfway up, back down, all the way up. Now, so if you're wondering why we do that, it's just more tension on the muscle. It's just a lot of tension. We're going to do three sets of 10 like this. There you go, right there. Two, three, four, halfway, there we go, bottom five, six, come on, seven, come on, eight, come on, nine, one more time, come on. Drive it all the way through. Oh, there we go. All right. I love hack squats. Now, not all hack squat machines are created equal. Some of them are really hard on your knees. Okay. This one's built really well. I love this hack squat machine. Thank you, Powerhouse Gym. So a lot of people go real high and wide, which is great for your quad sweep. A lot of people do these kind of in the middle which is more, I, th I think, for your overall quad. And then some people do them a little lower. I tend to like to do these a little lower for your quads, especially for your teardrop near your knee. But you have to be very careful doing them with your feet low. It's very hard on your knees if you don't have a lot of supporting musculature around your knee. So if you don't have a big teardrop, it's kind of a catch-22. These can be hard on your knees. If it is well-developed, then I actually do like to go a little lower. And if you watch my form, I'm a big believer in doing these deep. Get these as deep as you can. Now we're going to do Smith machine lunges and you can't get away from the quad pain. Our quads are already burning, but we're going to do a lot of glute work on these. So notice I've got an aerobic step bench here. This is to elevate your foot, which as you'll see, gives you a great stretch in your glutes. Turn your body a little sideways, stretch your glute, stretch, and flex your glute and drive up. Big stretch on your glute. Oh boy. 
see that. I'm just gonna do one leg on it. <laughs> okay, rep range on these, 10 to 12 reps, and I want three sets. Oh, ah, you got more. Go to 15, go to 15, come on. Switch legs, switch legs. So Ivana's done stiff legged deadlifts now. They're not really stiff. She's got a little bend in her knee to protect her knees. The trick to these is keep your lower back flat, keep the dumbbells in close, and shoot your hips back. Look at the stretch she's getting in her glutes and hands. Dumbbells are in close, and her back is flat. Those are the three keys to this. Flat back, dumbbells close, and sit back. Three sets of 10 to 12 here. Just a guideline. Okay. You've got to be good for him. I don't want you to get mess your form up that heavy weight or you get hurt. Okay. But I'd like to see five or six and another six or seven with those. Look at that. Perfect form. Dumbbells are in close. Ugh. Flat back. Yep. Okay, 40s. Here we go. Come on. Perfect. There we go. Yeah. Good stretch. Good stretch. Excellent. Ooh. <sighs> 